So what's going on guys, thank you for stopping by. In my last video, which was my eating disorder story, if you haven't seen it, click on the picture right here and um, watch it if you want. I thought that I'm planning on making a Q&A video because some of you told me that they want me to make one. So I posted on Snapchat, I posted on my fitness pal and well, I was expecting something like this to happen. I hope that it's not gonna happen like this. I tell you, I'm gonna make a Q&A. Send me questions! And one week later... No questions. Because before I tried making a Q&A video and uh, it ended up exactly like that. No questions. This time though I was nicely surprised because it's a totally different story. I got a lot of questions from YouTube, from MyFitnessPal, I got one from Snapchat, well and from a Facebook friend which went actually a bit overboard and sent me like 33 questions which I won't be able to answer all of them in this video but I'm gonna try to answer as much as I can and actually some of them are for me and for my brother so he's gonna join me a bit later but for now I'm gonna answer your questions first Q&A's are an amazing way to communicate with you guys and actually are one of my favorite types of YouTube videos to watch and I really enjoy them because this way we learn a bit more about the person behind the camera. If you want me I could start making every now and then one of those like once per month. Let's get started with the questions because there are quite a few. I have here a list with the questions to read them. So we're gonna start with YouTube first. Uh, the first question is from Luisa Oliveira. What are your recommendations for a good lean bulk, like macros, how to start, how much should you be gaining? And too many days because she asks basically the same question plus something else. Uh, so she adds what to eat to gain weight. What I recommend for a lean bulk is first of all to find out what are your maintenance calories and um, to track like two weeks, two weeks track on the calories you are. So if at the moment you are on 2000, uh, let's say 700 calories, you will track your weight every single morning after you go to the bathroom and you poop. Go straight on scale, weigh yourself and you write it down on a paper or on a phone or on the computer. At the end of the week you combine each of those weighings and divide it to seven so you can get your overall weight. This is the real weight that you actually have because the body is fluctuating so some days you may have like 2 kilos more, some day you may have 1 less or maybe more because you are underhydrated. So uh, you will do this for 2 weeks and so you find out which are your maintenance calories. After that you are just gonna add for a lean bulk uh, I recommend maybe starting with 150-200 calories and slowly. Uh, doing the same thing, like after you add those calories, you're gonna track your weight for two weeks. If you're gaining, you're gonna continue with those macros and those calories you are at the moment. And um, if you stop, if you stop gaining, you're gonna have to increase it with another 150 or 200 calories, and so continue until you hit another plateau. And so you're gonna add a bit more calories, and so on. I hope you get it. How much you should be gaining? I think that between 150 and 250 grams per week is a pretty lean bulk, especially if you're working out five or maybe more times per week. For the macros, I recommend to eat just enough protein, so 1.5 to 2 grams of protein per pound of body weight or kilograms uh, maybe I'm gonna make a big mistake here and the rest you're gonna give mostly for carbs because carbs are the main energy source of the body and we use it while training while doing any type of activities and for fat maybe stay maximum at 50 55 maybe 60 grams of fat and the rest for carbs that's what I recommend and what to eat basically you can eat whatever you want as long as you hit your protein, carbs and fats like any type of food is good of course eat plenty of veggies and fruit which is pretty important especially have your daily dose of fiber next question from YouTube is from Michael Raitt 
uh, think uh, how much are you going to tone down your calories from cheat days in your cheat meals. So with this question basically he's asking me uh, how much I'm gonna lower my calories on my cheat meals than on my cheat days and with that basically he's asking uh, tell me how much you're gonna eat so I know if I should come to your channel and search for some pretty epic content and uh, well bro I told in my 20,000 calorie challenge that uh, for my cheat meals that I'm gonna do up until the holidays I'm gonna eat maximum 6,000 maybe 6,500 calories per cheat meal. The next user asked me quite a few questions is JB uh, did you ever faint when you were cutting food. So this is while I was uh, with the eating disorder. Yes, I did faint quite a few times but uh, depends what you mean by faint. The next thing is what do you want to get bigger and do you think there's such a thing as too big Musa wise? Well, uh, how big I want to get? Well, who doesn't want to get bigger? Like, um, I, I actually don't plan to get like too big. I hate this word. Like uh, somebody is coming to you and tells you that great, you go to the gym, but don't get too big. Uh, I will do whatever I want, but seriously, there is something like too big because uh, the people on Mr. Olympia, the ones that compete there, are this is ugly. I respect them for what they achieved. Like, this is amazing physique, even though they use steroids. Like, this is unachievable by a natural bodybuilder, but still it's impressive to see a body like this, like it's pretty damn sick, but will I ever want to have a body like this or even close to that? No, 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 no. The next thing I'm gonna say probably is gonna sound uh, stupid for some of you, but my goal physique is somewhere near to Jeff Sait, so I want to look something like this, but not be so cocky like him. Yeah, and the next question from her is why don't you become a fitness coach? Well, I've planned on actually becoming a fitness coach pretty pretty soon, maybe maybe not that soon, but I plan on taking online classes and maybe become a online coach uh, if somebody is interested. But at the moment, uh, without being certified and uh, yeah, I just don't feel comfortable offering my help about fitness and nutrition even though I feel I know quite a few things uh, but I do help people actually I'm coaching somebody here uh, but it's it's different like for online coaching I feel like uh, I need to study way way more and uh, so I know exactly what should you do and how you do it I definitely think about becoming a fitness coach. The next question is from a Bulgarian, uh, is Mariana Stefanova. What is your major in uni? My major in uni is management in the sea transport and I'm a third year at the moment. Do you think girls should lift heavy or low weights high grab is more appropriate? I definitely think that girls should lift heavy because uh, as you know girls don't have that um, growth hormone that we boys have, men we are men. They can't get that bulky that they think. They will get muscular but it will be not like with men. Like it's gonna get really slower. And let's be real, when a girl comes to the gym and goes straight to the squat bar, adds some good amount of weight and starts squatting ass to grass, well, huh. hello there. Well, I'm too shy so I would never talk to her but I'm impressed and more than that. And she finishes with PS, can you make videos on Bulgaria? Uh, I definitely can and I probably will start making videos in Bulgarian if I know that there's plenty of Bulgarians who watch me. Uh, last question from YouTube, it's from Amao A. Is there a difference between complex carbs versus simple carbs? Can I eat a big meal with high fat and carbs after cardio? Is white bread, potatoes, rice bad? Well, I'm gonna start with the last question. Uh, is white bread, potatoes and rice bad? Uh, well, you know that rice and potatoes are basically, as people say, clean food. So why should they be bad? But there's not such thing like 
clean food. Tell me why is rice, why is potatoes clean food? People think that, oh, broccoli and chicken, this will go straight to my muscles. Oh, pop tart or uh, Oreo or cake or ice cream, this will go straight to my belly and this will be belly fat. Uh, or just fat, just fat. No, there's no such thing. You can over it with chicken and broccoli and still gain fat. It's gonna be a lot harder, but you still can do it. I believe in you. But if you eat like uh, one pop tart and this, 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 of course, if you hit your protein goals and fat, but you still eat pop tarts and Oreos and ice cream, you can fucking get ripped and strong and better than that chicken and broccoli guy. So, no, it's not bad. No food is bad in moderation. Uh, can I eat a big meal with high fat and carbs after cardio? Go for it, girls! Uh, there's no such thing as meal timing. No matter when you eat, it won't make like big difference. It will make, but it's not that big. Uh, it's not that big? Dirty minded. My opinion, go for it. Eat like after a workout, I have my biggest meal, which is another question I'm gonna answer from a different uh, uh, question. So yes you can, and is there a difference between complex carbs and simple carbs? Well there is one, one difference. The thing is that when you eat complex carbs you get fuller and uh, you won't be hungry for a lot longer in comparison if you're gonna eat like something like simple carbs which is basically sugar, you will get energy but in about a few minutes like maybe 15 30 minutes if that was something like incredible sugar food like oreos it will go away and you're gonna feel tired and uh, you won't have a good workout for example that's the difference otherwise carbs are carbs the only question from snapchat is from james during a calorie challenge, how hard, how fast does the wow hit? I know I am good until around 10,000. I haven't pushed it further, but felt like I could keep going. Uh, so for me, the wow hits definitely uh, around uh, maybe 10, 11. Last day at 12,000 calories. As it seems, you can eat a lot too. So yeah, basically. You're asking uh, when the wall hits between 10,000 and 12,000 calories for me. Depends on what you eat. Maybe I'm, I can push it a bit higher, but it really depends what kind of foods you eat. The next question is from Instagram. We're starting with the Instagram questions. It's from Poker Piet, which is a friend of mine. And actually, that's the guy who sent me quite a few things from Germany. So thank you again. Like, I'm gonna thank you for all my life. So, the questions are, how did you educate your gym knowledge? Do you have race days with no gym and no cardio? How many calories do you eat on that day? Do you feel bad after your cheats? Because you ate so much. So, first, uh, my gym knowledge. I guess I learned it from when I was with my eating disorder. Then I started learning about calories and nutrition and macronutrients and uh, which foods have this and that. And the fitness part, I started uh, learning a bit later, maybe when I started my recovery. Before that, I was doing just basic stuff, like as I told you, push-ups, uh, pull-ups, uh, dips, basic body weight. Plus, I did with the dumbbells curls. We gotta do those curls for the girls. Let's say it. Yeah! And that's where I got my knowledge, from internet, nowhere else, like internet is the best way to learn something that is really useful for you. Do I have races with no gym or cardio? Well, uh, no. So on my rest days I really like to do something like fast walking for at least for one hour because when I calculated my calories I counted that I'm doing this much activity through the week and I'm this active so I'm not adding any calories for when I do cardio on a rest day but I definitely do cardio so I can eat the same calories but if I don't do cardio which is kind of hard for me uh, I will definitely eat like 300 calories less or this will never happen yeah but I will definitely decrease the calories with 300 that's it do I feel bad after my cheats uh, well if it's something under 10,000 calories I feel perfectly fine uh, and I'm definitely hungry definitely 
So next question is from Li Jo Hyo. Li Jo Hyo. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. What do you eat before and after workout? So before workout, after I start my book, I'm basically eating everyday oats plus two scoops of whey protein powder and maybe some milk or water depending on how many calories I have left because what I like to do through the day is as you know I have two small meals through the day and one big ass meal at night uh, which is actually my post-workout meal but we're gonna talk about this later depending on what I'm gonna have for dinner I calculate the rest of the calories for the food I'm gonna eat so I'm gonna eat a bit less oats or a bit less from that and that so yeah I'm having basically oats with protein and after that I'm eating whatever I decided to which is uh, oftenly uh, a whole loaf of bread with some kind of a yogurt or cream cheese or cottage cheese spread uh, really delicious thing recently I started making pumpkin yogurt or pumpkin cream cheese that's, that's much much better than the yogurt uh, spread and I spread it on a whole loaf of <laughs> toast bread, a giant oatmeal bowl, oatmeal cookies, etc. and yeah. Next question is from Livin. Favorite vegan foods? Uh, well, Oreos, I guess. Oreos are my favorite vegan food and cereal, bread, tortillas especially. Look, there are so many vegan options out there, so probably I love a lot of them, but those are what come in my mind. Like, you can make basically everything vegan now, but... Not here in Bulgaria, but in America you sure can. Do you think girls should have cheat meals and days like you had them? Uh, well, uh, no. Uh, I don't recommend making this big cheat days because if you want to have such a big cheat day, you have to balance out your calories, so you're gonna have to eat a bit less before or after or increase your cardio so you can balance your weekly calories. So, but if you're okay with that, go for it. I don't mind it, you, you won't gain weight as long as you balance out your weekly calories no matter how many calories you eat on that cheat meal or day What advice would you give a person who wants to start a YouTube channel? Well, you're asking the wrong person like I have just 2550 at the moment subscribers I'm pretty sure and like look at me it took me two years to get here and no, I don't think I'm the best person to tell you how to start a YouTube channel but the advice is uh, be consistent and uh, watch the trending, see what people love to watch and uh, don't do what they want but try to make it as close as you can to that thing that they like but don't do it that way, don't do it the way they want, do it, do something that you enjoy. Okay. Do you feel like you have built confidence with the YouTube or does it give you stress? Well, uh, like watch my first video, watch my video today, uh, it's totally different. I feel more comfortable in front of the camera. I feel, I feel, I definitely feel confident in my videos, but I do feel stressed sometimes too, uh, especially if it's a big challenge and people are expecting me to eat this, 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 like McDonald's, this, this. Well guys, I don't have that money, I'm a fucking student and uh, I can't do what you like and to be honest, I don't like eating burgers or that much eating donuts or stuff like you like. I'm a different person. I'm more of a cookie guy, I'm more, I like, I recently started liking a lot of ice cream, but uh, well, it's not the cheapest thing to eat ice cream, especially the good ones, even here in Bulgaria. So yeah, I like different things than you and I really like the thing that I do things different than most of the YouTubers because I'm sick of watching McDonald's and Krispy Kreme. Seriously, if I see another 10,000 calorie challenge with Krispy Kreme and McDonald's, I'm gonna stop watching 10k videos un until I see something pretty amazing like a thumbnail. Seriously. Next is from Fitbra99, the man with the books of history. I have a pen. What's your go away during this book? 
what are your macros, what is your favorite football team. My goal weight for this bulk is 79, maybe 80 kilograms, depending on how lean I feel. On that time maybe I could go a bit more, but we'll see. There's plenty of time. I'm gonna bulk until uh, until the end of February, maybe mid-March. So my current macros are 180 grams of protein, 440 grams of carbs and 65 fat, I think. So I'm eating exactly 3,100 calories at the moment. What's your favorite football team? It's Man United. But this one is in my heart too, so... Manchester United, Borussia Dortmund and... I am a Lesk Sofia supporter. This is a Bulgarian team, which is kind of in a big hole at the moment. Like, we are not doing that great. Next questions are from my fitness pal. Do your parents get the whole IFOM thing? Like, do they judge you when you weigh your food? And uh, the same question is asked from Rosture Karakru. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I just can't say that name. What do your family think about doing fitness, huge cheat meals, hitting daily macros? Uh, so at the beginning my family was open-minded, especially when I started my recovery from the eating disorder. But with the time they they are not that happy that I weigh my food for each meal or that I want my mom to tell me exactly what she put inside of this um, meal. Uh, like in grams, so I calculated. I don't mind anything she adds. I just want to know what she added so I know how much I can eat from it. But in the last weeks, I see a big change in them. Like, they don't mind it, or at least they don't show it. About the cheat meals and the cheat days, well, uh, they actually find it kind of funny, especially when I did 20,000 calorie challenge. I was so full, uh, I was lying on my bed and I couldn't stand, and they were laughing. They are laughing out loud. I'm pretty sure they don't find it that great that they make them, but well, I'm still doing them. My mother actually likes me when I do cheats, because I make her to make me food, and that's good. She enjoys cooking, especially if she knows that I'm gonna eat a lot of it.